Imagine waking up tomorrow and discovering that the internet has completely changed overnight. Well, that future just arrived, and most people have no clue what's about to hit them. Microsoft just pulled off something so massive at Build 2025 that it's going to make your smartphone look like a stone tablet. They unleashed over 50 AI tools designed to create what they're calling the agentic web. And trust me, this isn't your typical tech buzzword nonsense. Picture this. AI that doesn't wait for you to ask questions. AI that wakes up, looks around, and decides what needs to be done without you lifting a finger. AI that talks to other AI systems, makes deals, solves problems, and basically runs your digital life while you're sleeping. Sounds like science fiction? It's happening right now. Microsoft CTO Kevin Scott said this shift reminds him of the early internet days when a few lines of code could change everything. Except this time, we're creating digital beings that think and act independently. The crazy part? These AI agents are already being tested across Microsoft's entire ecosystem. They're managing workflows, writing code, coordinating with each other, and making decisions that would normally require entire teams of humans. But here's where it gets really interesting, and why this could either be the best thing that ever happened to the internet or the beginning of something we're not quite ready for. So what exactly is this agentic web that has tech insiders buzzing? Right now, when you use AI, you're basically having a conversation with a very smart parrot. You ask, it responds. But the agentic web flips this entire dynamic on its head. Instead of waiting around for instructions, these AI agents wake up every morning with their own agenda. Think about your most productive coworker, the one who anticipates problems before they happen and coordinates with different departments. Now imagine that person never sleeps, never takes breaks, and can be in a thousand places at once. That's what Microsoft is building, except instead of one super employee, they're creating an entire workforce of specialized AI agents. Microsoft's Frank Shaw explained that recent advances in AI memory and reasoning have unlocked capabilities that seemed impossible just months ago. These agents don't just remember what you told them yesterday. They build comprehensive profiles of your habits and goals. They learn from every interaction and predict what you'll need before you realize you need it. And here's the kicker. They work across everything, talking to each other and coordinating complex operations that span multiple systems. But this raises some intense questions. What happens when AI agents start making decisions about your life without asking? How much control are we willing to give up for convenience? Microsoft says they've thought through these concerns, but the speed at which this is rolling out suggests we're about to find out in real time. The scale of what Microsoft announced is honestly staggering. We're talking about over 50 AI tools designed to rebuild the entire foundation of how software works. This spans GitHub, Azure, Microsoft 365, Windows, and basically every major platform they control. Starting with GitHub, They've transformed their co-pilot from a simple code helper into something that acts like a digital software engineer. This new version takes over entire development processes, refactoring code bases, writing tests, fixing bugs autonomously, and coordinating with other AI agents throughout the software lifecycle. The wild part? They're open sourcing the core functionality, inviting the entire developer community to build on their agent infrastructure. On the enterprise side, Azure AI Foundry Agent Service lets businesses create multi-agent workflows using open protocols. Instead of one massive AI handling everything, companies can build specialized teams of AI agents working together seamlessly. Then there's Windows AI Foundry, bringing this entire ecosystem directly to your local device, running on Windows 11 and even Mac OS without touching the cloud. Perhaps the most ambitious demonstration was Microsoft Discovery, a research platform using AI agent teams to accelerate scientific discovery. In one project, the system analyzed over 367,000 chemical compounds to identify a data center coolant in just 200 hours. For context, this type of research typically takes human scientists several years to complete. What makes this so significant isn't just the individual tools, it's the coordinated strategy. Microsoft isn't just updating products, they're building foundational infrastructure for a completely new type of internet. This feels eerily similar to how they approached cloud computing with Azure, except now they're defining standards for how AI agents will interact across the entire web. For these AI agents to function autonomously, they need capabilities that go way beyond generating responses. 
they need persistent memory, sophisticated reasoning, and the power to share context across different systems. Microsoft's approach to solving these challenges is both brilliant and slightly terrifying. The memory problem has been huge for current AI systems. Most forget everything between conversations. Microsoft solved this with structured retrieval augmented generation, giving agents access to vast databases in real time. Instead of static prompts, agents dynamically retrieve relevant data based on contextual queries, building comprehensive knowledge bases that persist across sessions. Microsoft's Stephen Badish explained how they're categorizing agents into distinct types. Personal agents learn your individual habits and preferences, becoming digital extensions of yourself. Work agents understand organizational context, managing information across Teams, Outlook, and other enterprise tools. These agents are already being tested internally with impressive results. The interoperability aspect is where things get wild. Microsoft supports open protocols like the Model Context Protocol, allowing AI agents from different vendors to share memory states and goals. This means a Google agent could theoretically communicate and collaborate with a Microsoft agent. They also introduced NL Web, giving websites a standardized way to expose functionality to AI agents through natural language interfaces. With persistent memory and cross-system communication, these agents develop sophisticated understanding of long-term objectives and adapt strategies based on changing circumstances. They're becoming digital entities with their own knowledge bases and decision-making capabilities. The question becomes, at what point do these systems become so autonomous that they're making choices we might not agree with? One of the most significant shifts is the move from cloud-dependent AI to edge computing, where powerful models run directly on your devices. Windows AI Foundry brings sophisticated AI agents to your personal computer, operating entirely offline while maintaining high performance. This eliminates network latency, privacy concerns, and cloud dependence. Imagine AI agents running locally that understand your work patterns, manage files, and handle complex workflows without ever sending data over the internet. Stephen Badish mentioned that improvements in local AI are happening faster than predicted, forcing Microsoft to accelerate their offline capabilities rollout. For industries like healthcare and finance, where data sensitivity makes cloud AI problematic, this is game-changing. Local AI agents become permanent residents of your digital environment, learning continuously based on your specific patterns. Microsoft is betting the future of AI isn't in massive data centers, but in billions of intelligent agents distributed across personal devices worldwide. As AI agents become more autonomous, they introduce security challenges that didn't exist before. Microsoft Intra-Agent ID assigns every agent a unique, traceable identity managed through enterprise directories. Organizations can monitor what each agent does, restrict access, and prevent unmanaged AI systems from operating without oversight. This is like creating HR policies for digital employees that never sleep and can potentially access everything simultaneously. Microsoft emphasizes that custom agents built without proper lifecycle management require teams to implement their own auditing and security systems. But here's what keeps security experts awake. AI agents make decisions, adapt behavior, and potentially discover new ways to accomplish tasks that weren't programmed. How do you audit a system that learns and changes over time? The race between AI advancement and security measures is going to be fascinating and potentially nerve-wracking to watch. Microsoft's Build 2025 represents something much bigger than typical product announcements. They've outlined a roadmap for fundamentally transforming how humans interact with digital systems, shifting from active engagement to passive oversight of autonomous AI agents. The transition from reactive to proactive AI changes everything. Organizations could deploy specialized AI agents for different business functions, each with deep expertise, but all collaborating seamlessly. Marketing agents understanding customer behavior, financial agents managing budgets, operations agents optimizing supply chains, all working together while humans focus on strategic decisions. Microsoft's commitment to open standards suggests they're not creating a controlled ecosystem, but defining infrastructure others can build upon. The security frameworks indicate serious preparation for production deployment rather than experimental releases. However, the speed raises important questions about societal readiness. 
Are we prepared to manage AI agent workforces? Do we have adequate regulatory frameworks for autonomous systems making real-world decisions? The shift toward edge AI could democratize capabilities, but it also creates new dependencies. Microsoft's vision represents evolution from the internet as information resource to action platform. Instead of humans navigating websites, AI agents will increasingly handle digital interactions on our behalf. Based on what they demonstrated, this transformation is already happening. The real question is how quickly the ecosystem adapts and whether governance frameworks can keep pace with technological capabilities. As these systems roll out across Microsoft's platforms, millions will have access to AI agent capabilities that were theoretical months ago. The next few years will reveal whether this vision enhances human productivity or creates new vulnerabilities